Hello and welcome to American Security Track. This is Fort Sill Army Base in Lawton, Oklahoma, the home of field artillery training and operations, and a fire center of excellence with the United States Army. In the summer of 2008, Fort Sill Contracting put out a solicitation for a comprehensive system to facilitate the management of inventory of weapons and other high value assets. Additional requirements were that those assets be tagged with an active radio frequency identification device. The project required that the system be installed in five of the key training armories in Fort Sill. The contract was awarded to American Security Track, a division of American Biomedical Group. These units were looking for a means of issuing weapons and other assets more quickly and more accurately. This was accomplished by means of a laser etching method and a proprietary software system developed by American Security Track. Units also wanted to automate the asset location and inventory processes, requiring the use of an active RFID system. The installation requirements stipulated by Fort Sill are as follows. First, install the full system without interrupting the existing inventory and check-in, check-out process. Second, due to security concerns, perform all work on site. And third, complete the work in a two-step process, laser etching first and active RFID placement second. The etching process is performed by this laser emitting device. Each asset is individually placed on the adjustable deck and using different power settings, the laser does its work, placing unique marks on each item. Upon completion, a distinct square data metrics barcode can be seen on each asset. Once the assets are scanned by a data matrix scan device, the data is fed into weapons track software. Once the scanning process is complete, a simple click generates appropriate reports and forms, DA-2062 and FS-93. This completes the automated process of checking out the assets. The second requirement of the force sale solicitation was an inventory system utilizing active radio frequency identification tags. The RFID tags are actually small radio devices which we mold into a usable product. The RFID tags are attached to the asset using a special epoxy. Once set in place, the excess epoxy is removed using a blade and a cleaning agent and set aside for a few minutes to cure. Once the active RFID tags are placed on the asset, they are read real time by a series of receivers. In most facilities, there is one in each corner that sends out a signal to pick up information from the RF tag, which is transmitted into a special data processing hub specific to the arms room. Armory personnel then see a list of reads performed every two seconds, as well as the total list of assets read, broken down by the various types. In this case, the bulk of the assets are M16A2s. In addition to the mounted receivers, the tags can also be read by a handheld device to more precisely locate a particular asset or to locate an item outside the arms room, say in a field environment where an item has been misplaced. What difference does American Security Track make? Here's one of the Armory's lead personnel to answer that question. Okay, I just wanted to say a couple words about the uh, weapons track uh, system that we have now in place. At this arms room here, we uh, issue in bulk quantities, unlike other arms rooms who are issued to individuals. Uh, our normal uh, issue is about 104 pieces to any particular unit, and that used to take us anywhere between 15 20 minutes. That's now cut down to about five minutes. Uh, a lot less errors, a lot less human errors. Uh, we're able to maintain uh, better track or better accountability of all our pieces of equipment. Uh, it has been a handy piece of equipment. It minimizes our, our man hours, also minimizes the number of people you need to uh, issue out a particular uh, piece of equipment or group of equipment. The system has been uh, great. I uh, wish we had the, uh, this system earlier uh, when I first started working here. Uh, it has made things a whole lot easier, a whole lot simpler. And uh, we really uh, enjoy working with this system and glad that we have it at this time. The check-in, check-out, and inventory procedures at Fort Sill have been automated by the use of American Security Track's laser etch procedure 
and RFID tagging system developed in accordance with Fort Sill's requirements. The system has reduced the individual check-in check-out from a procedure which takes two to three minutes to one that now takes less than 30 seconds. More importantly, the occasional errors of manual inventories have essentially been eliminated by the automated process. The future of the military asset management has come to Fort Sill in the form of the weapons track system by American Security Track. Tradition at Fort Sill dates back many years as it is the final resting place of Native American warrior Geronimo. Tradition, accuracy, efficiency, and precision are essential to the success of every military installation. At American Security Track, we provide this and more to all our military partners.